I want to give a shout out to my viewer Leanne Jerume who wants to create flashcards for their baby using images in Word. This video is going to quickly show you how to do just that. Later in the video, I'm going to show you how to create index flashcards from scratch using Word. But first, I want to show you an even quicker way. If you don't know me, I run a blog called MandarinMania.com. On that blog, which you can see on your screen, is a section called Flashcards. If you click on Printable Flashcards, and scroll down to the bottom there are templates that you can easily download I'm gonna go ahead and show you this 3x3 template that you can download and add images to here it is as you can see type here is where you would insert your text or an image since typing is straightforward I'm going to go ahead and add an image for you to see just how simple it is looking at my screen you'll see I highlighted type here in the first card. I did that so that type here will be replaced with the image I'm going to insert. Click on insert pictures, pictures from file, and then navigate to the location on your computer where you have your pictures saved. I'm going to use this picture and click insert. As you can see, I previously sized the picture to fit this template. However, if you insert your image and it's too large like this or too small all images if you click on them will have these little boxes appear in the corner you just need to drag it until it fits as you would like it to like that and then simply go to the next box highlight type here and repeat the steps if you want to type text instead of inserting you can type text what you would do to make these cards two-sided is first create a page with nothing but images then create a second page with all of your text print page one with all of the images flip your paper over print side two very simple now i'm going to show you a second way that's very simple to create index card flashcards using word and images most modern printers will accept index cards so you'll find this method very useful especially if you have school age children looking at my screen you'll see i have a new document in word opened we're going to now create our index card flashcards by first clicking on the mailings tab click labels and then click on options in this little product number box click on the letter i that will bring you to a selection of index cards you'll see the first one here is three by five six by four four by six and five by three what that does those different selections three by five versus five by three is it chooses whether or not your card will be printed in portrait mode or landscape i prefer landscape for index cards that's my personal preference so i'm going to select five by three and hit ok hit ok again and there is my first flash card from here i'm going to click on insert pictures picture from file I'm going to navigate to the location where I have my picture saved and select my picture click insert and there is my picture as you can see it made the index card much bigger so the picture is too big for the card to fix that I'm going to click on this little box in the corner of the picture and drag it until it fills the index card to a size that I like it is off to the left I prefer it centered what I like to do to remedy this rather than selecting center from the home area I like to go to layout then in this little selection of nine boxes I click the center one which is a line center what that does is it centers everything both horizontally and vertically so if I had text it would be dead center to start a new card you simply hit tab and a new card appears here if you have a printer that prints double-sided you could go ahead and type the text for the back of the card for the picture you just inserted 
like so. If you do not have a printer that prints double-sided, you would go ahead and create all the front sides of your cards by putting in all of the images, create more cards for the back side, and print accordingly. From here, I'm not going to show you how to print because everyone's printer is different, but in order to gain the print functions, you would hit File, Print, and then from here, you would make sure your correct paper size is selected using your own printer settings. One tip I would like to add is because index cards are thicker than normal paper, you would want to not overload your printer because they have a tendency to get stuck. If you are printing on 8.5 by 11, I recommend card stock in that instance so your cards will last longer. And again, do not overload your printer because card stock does have a tendency to get stuck as well. I did a previous video where I teach you how to create tables to make index cards. I'm going to link down to that below. You can watch that video, use that method to create cards as well. Although in that video I do not insert pictures, you can insert pictures using the method shown here and just resize them using the little boxes in the corner as I demonstrated in this video. I hope that helped you all. Please show your love by commenting and letting me know if it did. And also like and share this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm present my videos to other people and they can discover me. I appreciate you all and thank you. See you in the next video.